Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Mike Philiber here on Monday morning, the 28th of September, 2020, for morning prayer. Uh, we're back at it again today. I want to say happy birthday to some folks. I want to say happy birthday to uh, Jared Mason. Happy birthday, Meg Futrell. Happy birthday, Meg. And also to David Campbell. Happy birthday, David. We're going to pray for you all in a little bit uh, after the catechism and Bible reading. Uh, so hang in there with us. So for our morning prayer, we're still just working through, uh, first part is we're working through the catechism, the Westminster Shorter Catechism. Uh, right now we're in the section that's dealing with the Ten Commandments, and so we are now at the Fifth Commandment. Which is the Fifth Commandment? The Fifth Commandment is, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. What is required in the Fifth Commandment? The Fifth Commandment requireth the preserving the honor and performing the duties belonging to everyone in their several places and relations as superiors, inferiors, or equals. What is forbidden in the fifth commandment? The fifth commandment forbiddeth the neglecting of or doing anything against the honor and duty which belongeth to everyone in their several places and relations. What is the reason annexed to the fifth commandment? This is uh, so that they may live long in the land of the Lord. That God, uh, they may live long in the land that the Lord their God is giving them. So, what is the reason annexed to the fifth commandment? The reason annexed to the fifth commandment is a promise of long life and prosperity, as far as it shall serve for God's glory and their own good, to all such as keep this commandment. I've always appreciated that last statement there. It's in a parentheses this long life and prosperity, as far as it shall serve for God's glory and their own good. I think many people forget that part. And so that was the Westminster Shorter Catechism. And now we turn to our reading in Hosea. We're just reading through Hosea. We're now at Hosea 5, verses 7, 8 through 15. Hosea 5, 8 through 15. Blow the horn in Gabeah, the trumpet in Ramah. Sound the alarm in Beth Avim. We follow you, O Benjamin. Ephraim shall become a desolation in the day of punishment. Among the tribes of Israel, I make known what is sure. The princes of Judah have become like those who remove the landmark. Upon them, I will pour out my wrath like water. Ephraim is oppressed, crushed in judgment, because he was determined to go after filth. But I am like a moth in Ephraim, and like, and like dry rot to the house of Judah." When Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah his wound, then Ephraim went to Assyria and sent to the great king, but he is not able to cure you or heal your wound. For I will be like a lion to Ephraim and like a young lion to the house of Judah. I, even I, will tear and go away. I will carry off and no one shall rescue. I will return again to my place until they acknowledge their guilt and seek my face and in their distress earnestly seek me. It's a tough statement, but it reminds us again that we often look for love in all the wrong places. Here's Ephraim and Judah, and they're looking for all their salvation and rescue and political measures and, and in uh, alliances and so forth. They're not, they're not turning to the Lord, and the Lord says he will, he will return to his own place until they acknowledge their guilt and seek, their fa and seek his face and in their distress earnestly seek him. And that's really where we should be going in all of our situations, is turning to seek the Lord. So that was Hosea chapter 5, verses 8 through 15. And so now let's pray. Well, Lord God, we come to you and are grateful that you are God who wants your people to return to you. Forgive us for the times. We have looked to all the other measures to rescue us. We've looked to all the other measures and uh, alliances and so forth to build ourselves up. And instead, we should be turning to you and seeking your face. Help us all to do just that, for you are a God whose steadfast love endures forever. Lord, we pray for those having birthdays today. We pray for Jared Mason, Meg Futrell, and David Campbell. We ask you, Lord God, that you would lift up your face upon them, that this would be a wonderful day, this, their birthday, and that this coming year would be full of, of uh, pleasurable surprises and, um, and that they would grow in long life and prosperity as long as it will serve for your glory and their good. And we ask you, Lord, that the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit would be on them and ever expanding in their life this coming year for Christ's sake. 
And Lord, we pray that you would be with uh, Backyard Missions. Um, um, we pray that you would help the muses, not Fred and Carolyn, but the other muses who take care of Backyard Missions, that you would bless them in their work, as they, especially as they meet with uh, Muslims from foreign countries and, and talk, uh, teach both conversational English, but also bringing the gospel. We ask you to provide for their needs and watch over them. Be with Joe and Elizabeth and their kids, especially uh, young Keller. We pray, Lord, that you would shower your kindness upon them, fill their home with good things. We pray, Lord, for our friend Caleb Harlan, who is uh, doing Reformed University Fellowship, a campus ministry there at the University of Tulsa. We pray that you would provide him the funds and that you would give him the resources and um, and the support he needs. We pray for this coming year that it would be full of joy and uh, he would be very, very encouraged. And Lord God, we pray for um, Lieutenant Matt Heathman, who's a, a Navy chaplain in Japan. We ask you to bless him in his work, especially as the acting command chaplain through, from June through October, and all the administrative aspects of that, and the personnel aspects, and those things that can kind of be deflecting. We thank you for the new season you've given him, and the new coming uh, command chaplain that's coming in. Uh, we ask you to bless his work there, that he would be uh, effective in reaching those sailors and uh, encouraging and drawing folks to Christ. Lord, we pray to you who are righteous in all your ways and kind in all your works. We pray for Louisville, Kentucky, Portland, Oregon, Belarus, and Myanmar, and many other places where there is social conflict, destruction, and bloodshed. We pray, O oh God, that you would bring forth sensible order where there is senseless disorder. You'd bring forth justice where there is injustice. You'd bring forth right where there is wrong. Lord, hear our prayer. To you, O oh God, who are near to all who call upon you, to all who call upon you in truth, we cry out for our own times and our own moment. We ask you to guide us as a nation, but even more importantly, that you would guide us as a church in a nation that it grows increasingly vain and staggers with cultural vertigo, May our sober-minded lives and fellowship be a light shining in the darkness. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. You who fulfill the desire of those who fear you and who hears their cries and saves them, we implore you to, to protect and restore those who are crying out to, to you in their need. We pray for the families of 11 children in Bangladesh who are living in temporary locations because their homes were destroyed by fire. We pray for Gary Peabody as he begins his radiation treatment today. We pray, Lord God, for uh, Greg Swafford and Jim Clegus. We pray for um, several others, Lord Moose, as he prepares for his physical therapy and others, Lord. We pray that you would protect and restore them and that you would build them up. Oh, Lord, hear our prayer. Oh, you who preserve all who love you but will destroy the wicked, cause the sexual, physical, emotional, and financial abusers to be broken and to come to see clearly their devilish actions for what they are, and then to repent and to make genuine restitution and cause those who are battered and beaten, bruised and bankrupt to find you lifting up their heads, strengthening their hearts and bringing them substantive deliverance. We pray especially for abusive situations that we know, Lord, um, where that is going on. Oh Lord, hear our prayer. Thank you, Lord, that we can come to you and pray. Thank you that you are the God who is over all things, that you are taking all things in the right direction in the end, and that it is all about being uh, united in Christ, that you are bringing all things to be united in Christ, both in heaven and on earth. Lord, may we not forget that there's a king on the throne. There is someone who knows what's going on and is leading it in the direction that is best. Lord, thank you for this day. Bless us in this day that you have given us in Jesus' name, amen. Well, there we go. There's morning prayer for today, the 28th of September, 2020. This is Monday, Monday. Ah. Anyways, and so uh, till tomorrow, the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.